Okay, so I actually filmed this video like a month or so ago and the camera didn't take because I was using my iPhone because I wanted to show you guys all the cameras that I use. And I don't know what was happening, but I had a lot of issues during that time with iPhone videos just showing up as just a white screen afterwards and I was so mad. So it took me a while to get up the energy to do this again. So this is a video on all my camera gear and stuff just because I find them interesting. This is not a professional review because I'm not a professional photographer. Every time I do one of these, I get people commenting on them like, well, you didn't mention these specs about the cameras or it's important to note these. I'm like, great, I don't care. <laughs> This isn't about that for me. Um, and it doesn't make me any less of a photographer either. I don't like when people just kind of act like they're all high and mighty better than you. Anyway, the one I'm shooting on right now is my Canon G7X Mark I, the original, it's the original one, um, which I bought used off eBay years ago, still works great. Nice tiny little vlogging camera, like easy. So that's what I usually do if I'm like doing YouTube videos like this because it's very easy. I can get it pretty close to me and still get me in. It's very good at focusing on my face or on like things like if I were to hold my hand up here, very good focusing. So that's why I love using this. Um, but I do have quite a few other cameras and I've actually gotten quite a few recently that I'm really excited about. So actually it's a good thing I did this video because one of my purchases I didn't have when I did the last one. So I'll start with the one I use the least. Um, so like, a year ago, year and a half ago, I bought, I traded in my Nikon because I never figured it out. I didn't really enjoy it. I wasn't happy with the photos I was getting. And I've had a mirrorless Olympus for a long time and loved it. So I was like, but I really want a new DSLR because, you know, when you do show up to do things like a little more professional and people see you with like a little vintage looking camera, which is what my EM10 looks, or my, yeah, EM10 looked like, it just like, it doesn't give off the professional vibe that a DSLR does. Now it does a great job and gets great images, but like you kind of want to look a little more professional too. Like when people would ask me to do like engagement shots for them and stuff, I'm like, uh-huh, and then I show up with this little tiny camera. But yeah, anyway, we'll get to that. So I ended up trading in my Nikon and got the Canon uh, Rebel T7i, which is a great like beginner-ish type DSLR camera, so easy to use, like Canon's interface, the menus are so easy. Um, it has the flip out screen, fully articulating, which I love. So that's been great. Um, this lens actually was a great find. Um, so this is actually the 24 millimeter lens, um, F 2.8. I got it off Amazon for less than $100 and it is fantastic because it's a much wider lens than like the 50, which because this is a crop sensor, the 50 I have to get so far away to get everything I want in the shot. This still gives me like the good um, light coming in the lens, good like bokeh, the background blur, but it gets more in the photo. So I actually tend to use this a lot. So I do a lot of dance uh, performance photography now, especially at my studio when they do shows like when we did Nutcracker, things like that. I do the photography, nobody else does. Um, so usually I'll have like this camera with like this lens for the wider group shots on and then I'll have my Olympus with like my 45 for like more close up person, like individual person shots, because it's a lot easier to just do this than to try and catch people by changing lenses in between. That's just too much going on. So I have this, this is probably the lens I use the most on. It also makes it really tiny and light. So that's great. Um, and then with that, I ended up getting a 50 millimeter F, I don't even know, 1.8, uh, 50 millimeter lens, which is great. But like I said, you kind of have to get far away to use it. I also at the time bought a used um, 17 to 40 F4. So the F4 is kind of great because it makes this a very sharp lens because it stays it's a very good universal lens, honestly, I think. Um, but it does make the camera quite a bit bigger. So in comparison, you can see if I were to put that on, it does make it a lot bigger. And then the other one I bought, and I don't even know why I thought I needed this one. People were telling me they used it to take parade photos at Disney World, which I also love to do photos there. And it's the 75 to 300. Um, and it's more one of the more basic models too. So it's, yeah, F4 to 5.6. Um, honestly, then I was like, after I got it, which I got it used on eBay. So again, nothing, not that much loss. I think I got it for under a hundred dollars too. And I was like, I'm actually probably not gonna take this camera at Disney World because I don't wanna have to carry that much around with me and worry about like, that's a lot to worry about, like hitting on something, things like that. So that is my Canon setup with those four lenses that I don't use that much. I do use sometimes though, when I took my brother's engagement photos um, a few months ago, I took that and my Olympus and kind of did a 
dual thing, especially with that 24 millimeter lens. That lens is the best, I think, thing I have for that camera. So now on to the good stuff. Um, the next one that I probably use the least, so I love Olympus. That's actually my personal favorite to shoot. Um, I have a lot of Olympuses. The one I probably use the least is the Pen EPL9, just because it's a more basic beginner. It's the vlogger camera. So that's what it's known for. Um, it has a flip down screen, which is kind of a problem because you know, if you want to put it on a tripod, you, yeah, that's in the way. And also like, it's a little harder to use like that. Like, I don't know. So I don't use it for vlogging. I used to use it a lot like on vacations where I would like to take just a smaller camera and I actually ended up getting a nice little wrist strap with my name uh, engraved on it from uh, Etsy, which is very nice. Um, it does come with a really nice white rip, uh, neck strap. This is just the kit lens on it. Um, which I hate these kit lenses that you have to unlock and lock. They're so annoying. So I have this kit lens and I have the black one from my other camera. I have the pancake lens, which is a way better kit lens if they offer it. Um, it's so tiny and compact. I will say that one probably has more mechanical issues that would have to be replaced or fixed or something because I have gone through one already. Um, but yeah, so this one I just use the least because it's also, there's less dial options and things on the top. Come on, you can focus, there we go. So there's just less options for stuff. Um, but it's still a great little camera. It's awesome, I don't know. But I, now that I'm using a lot more manual settings, this isn't my go-to camera anymore. So it's still great, not my go-to. Um, so then next camera, so back in the fall last year, my original, uh, I had the OMD EM10 Mark I for years, for about five years. Loved it, best camera ever. And it had an unfortunate incident with a can of Coke in my purse. And I was devastated. And that was right before my big trip to England. So right then I had to go, right before I got on this big trip, I had to go buy another camera. So I bought the EM10 Mark II because I loved my EM10 so much. So that's what this is. Again, but as you can see, it still looks very, like it's very cool and vintage looking, but I feel like if I show up to like a photo shoot with this, people are like, that's it. That's my only thing about, like, I chose the silver. I could have gotten it in black, <laughs> but all my lenses are silver because my old one was the vintage looking one, so I bought all silver lenses to go with it. My own fault. Um, this is the pancake lens that I was talking about earlier. So now if I turn this on, I have a little le locking lens cap on it that I got off Amazon, so you can see. So that way, I'm not worrying about losing my lens all the time, or lens cap. Um, so that's what this camera looks like. It does have more dials. The new dials on the EM10 Mark II, actually these feel so much better than the old one. I really, really like them. Um, it's me. Um, but yeah, so those are all the settings here. I don't know why I said settings. But that's what the EM10 Mark II looks like. Um, I still have my EM10 Mark I. It's sitting on my bookshelf because it kind of just looks like a cool little vintage thing. It just doesn't work. Um, and then let's see. I did that lens. So that was the kit lens again. Um, so the like specialty lenses I have, I have three kit lenses. I have the one pancake one and then I have the silver and the black of the um, one that you have to unlock, which I just don't like. So there's like a little switch on there that you have to hang on. If it's on the camera, it's easier to show. But like you can't even turn the camera on to use it like even to like pull photos off it unless you unlock the lens. And like just stuff like that I think is really annoying. I like that it folds up tiny, but that's why I like the pancake lens better. For some reason though, they don't seem to be offering it as much anymore, so it's hard to find sometimes. Um, I stupidly bought this lens and I have never enjoyed it, so I think I'm actually gonna try and sell it when things start opening back up. This is the Olympus 40 to 150 F4 to 5.6. And with Olympus, you would double the lens, the focal length, I can't talk today. So like if you have like, a 25 millimeter lens it's gonna be actually like a 50 so that kind of thing um, so this is a pretty long zoom lens uh, but I find and maybe it's because it's such a long lens it also feels very plasticky it's not the most well built um, I've never really gotten clear good images off of it to be honest they've always been kind of like blurry and just not great so I've never been impressed with it I don't ever use it so probably gonna re not return I'm probably gonna try and sell this just back to the camera stock store um, but shoot, I was gonna say something there and I forgot. I have no idea where I was going with that. <laughs> it's been a long week already and it's Tuesday. Um, so there's that one. Uh, 
Then there is this lens is the other one I don't really use anymore, so I'm probably gonna also sell this one. It's a great little lens, but it's a manual lens, and I knew that buying it. It's the Camlin lens. Um, it's a 50 millimeter f 1.1, and that is it is a solid little lens. It is gorgeous. Um, it really can take some great photos, but I found myself not really using it again because it's a 50. Is basically like 100, so you gotta be like really far away from things and then on top of that like I had to be like adjusting everything and I just was like you know what the amount of times I actually use that are pretty slim so I think I'm probably gonna try and sell this one too so those are my two lenses that I don't really use um, this was the first lens I ever purchased with my OMD um, cameras oh I remember what I was gonna say sorry <laughs> what I was gonna say about this lens the big one is that I did notice it is slightly better with my EM10 mark II because the EM10 Mark II has the five axis image stabilization instead of the three, which the old one had. So my pictures are a bit better, but I still just don't find myself ever using that lens. So it's still not worth it. Um, this is, and I bought the Panasonic lens for a couple of mine because they're also like four thirds lenses. Um, and this was the Panasonic 20 millimeter F 1.7, um, nice little lens. A very flat little lens which is nice because it doesn't take up much room on the camera so it's about the same size i think as the pancake one here so um i love it it's great it gives you obviously great bokeh and perfect but it, it is more wide lens too because since it's a 20 millimeter it's like a 40 so it's just a much wider lens which is great um but then when i wanted to get a little more professional looking photos and just everything i did buy the one that everybody talks about that well I guess the Olympus is the 45 millimeter the one I bought is the Panasonic Lumix 42.5 uh, f1.7 so looks like this still a very tiny little lens um, but it just great quality images um, so it looks about like still again these lenses are so tiny like that's why I love these cameras it's great <laughs> the last one I'm gonna show you though doesn't quite fit that and that's because I got a more professional one. So I have wanted a more professional, I've wanted a professional lens, like a pro level lens, just one at least for a long time. I also kind of wanted a more professional looking Olympus cam so I could still use all my lenses. Although of course they're like all silver. So I got a black EM5 Mark II um, and I got it used off eBay. It's amazing. The person also had the hand grip too. So this is just an extra hand grip on the camera here. It's not like the battery grip, it's just a hand grip, but it just has all these extra controls, um, which the hand grip is one of the extra controls. So without that, it's still a fairly small camera. Um, here, and I'll even, so this is what it looks like right now. I'll take off the hand grip so you can see. Just unscrews. So this is the hand grip. And without it, it looks like this. And I've not really used it without it, so it feels a little weird. It's, especially with a pro lens like this on it, it feels better to have the hand grip. Um, but yeah, and then I got the 12 to 40 f2.8 pro lens, which I am in love with. This thing is a beast. And I also got it used off eBay. So um, this is just, it's a very nice setup. Um, this is my new favorite thing. Part of the reason I wanted the EM5 Mark II is because it's water resistant it's like um weatherproof so i really wanted that in a camera so that like when i go to the beach in a few weeks i can take this with me and like i'm still gonna be cautious with it but i'm not as afraid to use it as i was like my em10 which i did use at the beach many times and had no issues um it also has the fully articulating screen which the others do not so i like that um and then the lens as well is also weather i think that one just says splash proof but it's still like more weather resistant as well. Um, this also came with like, there's a filter on it. It came with a nice lens hood. So it's just an amazing setup and I'm so happy with it. Um, so that's, that's my setup. I think the only thing I didn't show actually, and it doesn't really matter is the, so with the EM10, the screen um, also does not tilt all the way. It only tilts like this. So you can kind of use it like that, but it doesn't tilt all the way up or down or out. So. My camera gear at the moment i'm really excited to get to use i think i'm probably just gonna take just this with maybe even just this lens to florida 
this lens has been kind of a universal and like my goal because I'm doing all this dance photography is to have a lens that's a little bit more of a universal lens. I know there's never gonna be any perfect lens for everything, but this comes pretty darn close. So I'm hoping that this can be that for me. So if you have any questions, let me know. But again, I'm not like a technical expert on all this and that's not the purpose of this video. So hope you enjoyed it and stay safe and happy. <laughs>